Tahir Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. I'm your teacher, Maria Hakan. I'm going to deliver my lecture based on the topic pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that can replace the noun without requiring any other change in the context or sentence. For example, if you have a sentence, Dua and Skandar go to the model public school. So, we can use they instead of Dua and Skandar. So, the sentence will be they go to model public school. There are eight types of pronouns. Personal pronoun, possessive pronouns, reflexive pronoun, indefinite pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, distributive pronoun, relative pronoun and the last one is interrogative pronoun. Let's start with the personal pronoun. Personal pronouns are pronouns that are associated primarily with a particular grammatical person, first person, second person or third person. Personal pronouns may also take different forms depending on number, grammatical or natural gender, case and formality. For example, I, you, they, we, he, she and it. In case reference is made to two or three persons together, preference is given to second person between first person and second person, for example, you and I. But if third person, there is third person between first person and third person, we use she and I. But if there is second person between second person and third person, we use you and she. Possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns are used to show ownership or possessions. A word that replaces a noun and shows ownership. Examples are mine, yours, his, hers, ours, theirs. You can see the example on your screen. It's not yours. Replaces the noun fish and shows ownership. The another example is, it's mine now. The word mine in the sentence is the possessive pronoun. Reflexive pronoun. Reflexive pronouns are used to turn the action done by the subject of a sentence back to the subject. You can also say that reflexive pronouns are used to refer back to the subject in the sentence. For example, Tina fell and hurt herself while cleaning the lot. So, herself, referring back to the noun, Tina. On the other hand, if the sentence is, I treated myself to an ice cream. Here the word myself, referring back to the word I. Dear student, reflexive pronouns used to put emphasis on the subject are referred to the emphatic pronouns. For example, I did it all by myself. Here it means you can see that without anybody's help, you can do your work by yourself. For reflexive pronouns, sub, uh, as a subject, singular subjects, I, you, he, she, and it, you can use the reflexive pronouns myself, yourself, himself, herself, and itself instead of it. If you have a plural subjects, we, you, or they, you can use the reflexive pronoun ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. Indefinite pronoun. Indefinite pronouns refer to a person or a thing in a general way. They do not point to a specific person or thing. As you can see the examples on your screen, I have eaten everything in my fridge. The word everything is the indefinite pronoun. 
I need to find something. Something here is an indefinite pronoun. I have nothing for breakfast. Nothing here is the indefinite pronoun. And the last example is anything would be okay. Anything here is the indefinite pronoun. There are many more examples with of indefinite pronouns like someone, somebody, something, everyone, everybody, everything, anyone, anybody, anything, no one, nobody, nothing, one, all, some, few, many, none. They all are the examples of indefinite pronouns. The fifth type is demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns are used to point out and identify specific nouns. If the subject is near to use as a singular, you will use this. If a singular subject is far away from you, you can use that for it. And if the plural subject is near to you, you will use these for it. And then if the plural subject is far away from you, you will use those. The example shown on your screen will clearly explain to you that where you have to use this and where you have to use that. And on the other hand, you come to know easily that where you can use these and where you have to use those. There's another example of demonstrative pronoun this, that, these, of those. By seeing those blocks, if the box is near to you, you will use this box. If it's a little bit far away from you, you will use that box. There are two boxes near to you, so we'll use these boxes. And if they are placed far away from you, you will use those boxes. Let's start with the sixth type, distributive pronouns. Distributive pronouns basically donates persons or things referred to individually in a pair or in a group. In pair you will use either or neither and group each is the best example. You can see some of the examples over here also. You can drink either tea or coffee. She can neither see television nor play. Each of us bought the book. Give the chocolates to each. The other examples on your screen of distributive pronouns are you can you must know that often these pronouns are followed by of you or of them. Like if you have example of all as a distributive uh, pronoun so you can use in a sentence all of you both of you both of them each of them either of you neither of them some of you okay they comes like this in a sentences the seven examples of example uh, type is relative pronoun relative pronouns are those pronouns that refer to something mentioned earlier in the sentence to join two sentences for example what was the name of the person whom we met at the metro station today so the word home in the sentence you can say it's joining two sentences and working as a conjunction in the sentence also so uh, home here in this sentence is the Example of relative pronoun. It's a pronoun that has an adjective clause. Okay, examples are that, which, who, whom, and whose. The another example on your screen you can see the dog that ate the cake is looking guilty. So here the that is the relative pronoun, and the dog is a noun in a sentence in the subject that modifies the adjective clause ate that ate the K modifies and that adjective clause modifies the noun the dog. You see some other examples for using who, 
relates to people as a subject the musician who wrote this song is french whom it also relates to the sub people as a object in the sentence for example i know the boy whom sits next to you which relates to animal and objects for example this is the cake which mary made why refers to reason do you know the reason why the market is closed today when refers to time the day when the concert takes place is saturday where refers to places this is the house where my son was born whose refers to possession the boy whose phone just rang should stand up and the last example of this type is that relates to people animals and things 12 september is the day that i was born the eighth one is the last one interrogative pronoun interrogative pronouns are basically used to ask the questions like who whom who what these all are the examples for uh, in uh, example in a sentence we can say that what do you do in your spare time of these two bags which is yours who told you to throw these away some other examples of interrogative pronouns are who whom which whose where when why that and how so who is used for asking the questions about the people whom is used ask question about people as object in a sentence um, which is used you ask questions about animals and objects whose you will ask questions about possessions where as you can ask the questions about places when you ask the questions about time why is uh, uh, you can use asking question about any reason and what are uh, you can use uh, what in a question by asking about things and for how you can ask question about manner so let's start with the exercises yes there is a exercise that is fill in the blanks with the suit or with the most suitable words on your screen so let's start doing it by yourself it's too easy you just have to put pronouns in these blanks so let's do it orally together you must have books ox uh, the grammar tree of second edition must you all must have it with you in front of keep your pencils in your hands and let's start the first option is my cousins are college students dash go to the university college my cousins are college students dash go to the university college so you see that they are the number of the cousins over there so for the many people we use they yes in this sentence we use they the second option my sister will leave tomorrow we will miss dash here we are talking about a single person my sister we are talking about my sister so we will miss her yes you are right we will miss her the third one my brother and love my sister very much my sister also loves us yes we want to buy a video game the video game will be oz yes the last option is ali and maria want to meet you so here are the two persons ali and maria so what you can use dash will visit they will visit yes they will visit to whom they will visit dash tomorrow you tomorrow so the sentence will be ali and maria want to meet you they will visit you tomorrow 
come to the exercise b in which you have to choose suitable pronouns to complete the given sentences so the first one is so the first one is there are two options in the first sentence no, sorry three options my teacher and i me and my teacher and the i and my teacher and the last one is my teacher and me have already discussed the matter so which one is the correct one so according to me it is my teacher and i my teacher and i have already discussed the matter put small tick mark on the correct option or better to use a color for highlighting the right option but don't use the pen on it the second option is i think you and me i and you me and you you and i will make a good team for the quiz i am repeating the option you and me i and you me and you and you and i which one is the correct one yes you and i i think you and i will make a good team for the quiz so the third one is dash are going to the magic show this saturday the options can be maria and i me and maria i and maria maria and me which one is the correct option Yes Maria and I are going to the magic show this Saturday the fourth one the offer was made only to he or me him and me he and me him and I yes the correct option is him and me the offer was made only to him and me the fifth one Tariq and you, you and Tariq, have to be present at the venue. Which one is the correct one? You and Tariq. Yes, you and Tariq have to be present at the venue. Sixth option. Dash are responsible for getting the stage ready. So the options are you and him, you and he, him and you, he and you. what is the correct option yes you and he you and he are responsible for getting the stage ready the seventh option the principal would like to meet she and you you and her her and you you and she the correct option is you and her the principal would like to meet you and her seema said she does not want to go to picnic without he and you you and him him and you or you and he the correct option is you and him seema said she does not want to go to picnic without you and him so the last sentence says dua told maria you and i i and you you and me me and you will participate in the debate competition which one is the correct one you and i yes you and i dua told maria you and i will participate in the debate competition come to the exercise number c in exercise c you just have to fill, fill in the blanks with suitable pronouns so this one is also really very easy for you to attempt it let's start doing it hamad was early today and said to me you see the today dash have come on time yes i you see today i have come on time here is the parcel please have dash sent by courier please have it sent by courier third option i will give you i will give your message to your friends when i meet dash today 
friends what you will use for friends them yes i will give your message to your friends when i meet them today alin said let us first try to solve the problem ourselves or selves not ourselves you will use ourselves s e l v e s the fifth one my parents said not tell us everything about your trip the sixth one if you want to visit the monument here get a guide to tell dash about their history to tell you about their history yes tell you about their history the seventh option she told a boss that she won't be meeting dash today meeting to whom she is going to meet a boss for him for a boss you will use him yes the sto- she told a boss that she won't be meeting him today my friends always carry their earphones with them so whenever i forgot mine m i n e mine i can use theirs t h e i r s theirs i'm repeating my friends always carry their he- earphones with them so whenever i forgot mine i can use theirs the ninth one try working on the problem yourself first before asking for help the last one they are great artists but they see dash only as student so what is the correct option themselves yes themselves t h e m them s c l v e s themselves let's start with the d option in d part you have to choose the appropriate pronouns to complete the sentences dash is your opinion is the most talented among these your ma- musicians the correct option is who who in your opinion is the most talented among these your uh, these young mu- musicians the second one is the news did not arise on its own dash must have spread it somebody or anybody somebody yes somebody is the correct option the cat filled it or itself tell it what it was round and heavy the cat fed itself till it was round and heavy fourth option is please hand these over only to the class monitor i saw some boys standing here where are they yes where are they i wrote a letter to the person that person or who yes you will use who who is in charge now i'm giving my name for the poetry competition which have or what have yes what have you decided to do he breathed a sigh of relief and said everything seems to be in order now or something seems to be in order now yes everything seems to be in order now is some interested in going to the cafe or is anyone interested in in going to the cafe anyone yes anyone interested in going to the cafe tenth option both are afraid of the dark but either is willing to admit it or neither is willing to admit it neither yes correct option is neither is willing to admit it feroz and batul decided to paint the classroom walls itself or themselves themselves yes correct option is themselves there were four windows in the room but dash was open none was open or any was open none was open yes 13 option the students are making a lot of noise please tell 
these to talk softly or them to talk so softly them to talk softly yes if they win the match they can put themselves on the back or himself on the back themselves on the back the last one is we have told her many times that she is a greater singer yeah pe or you can say we have told she many times that she is a great singer what is the correct option we have told her many times that she is a great singer let's start with the e exercise write whether the underlined words in these sentences are demonstrative interrogative or relative pronouns mr blows is the man but about whom i was telling you yesterday in this sentence whom is used as a relative pronoun yes relative pronoun r e l a t i v e in the second one this is the house in which i used to live earlier in this sentence this is used as a relative pronoun right if you had to choose one of these two shirts which would you pick which is used in the sentence as a interrogative pronoun right interrogative pronoun the fourth one i have lost the diary that i bought yesterday that is relative pronoun yes that is relative pronoun this is danya and that is her sister that is used in this sentence is demonstrative pronoun right demonstrative pronoun this is the last exercise fill in the blanks or choose the correct option to complete the given sentences instruction for a few have been provided first sentence is the little boy dusted himself he himself told me the secret they themselves they themselves s e l v e s themselves are responsible for all the luggage i have narrated to him all my tales of adventure but he was not paying any attention to me at all didn't i tell you that i will teach you how to skateboard he said that he was responsible for the mistake they wondered why we were the only ones who had come to party dash who were present there were excited you have to use indefinite pronoun in this it so what will be the indefinite pronoun in this sentence yes all all who were present there were excited in the ninth option dash knocked at the door you again have to use the indefinite pronoun what will be the indefinite pronoun in this sentence somebody yes somebody knocked at the door my parents and i i and my parents visited my grandparents last week which one is the correct one Yes my parents and I visited my grandparents last week the captain told his teammates i and you you and i will work together as a family yes you and i is the correct option teacher asked you and minahil or minahil and you to meet her after class what is the correct option yes you and minahil to meet her after class the last one is ma'am wants to ask you and her or her and you about the project yes you and her ma'am wants to ask you and her about the project here is the chapter and if you find any query please ask from me 
all the exercises will be done on the box. Thank you. Allah face.